So I have no idea if we're going to win this one. But uh, something I wanted to talk about. So Holy Word Sanctify and Angelic Feather and Mass Dispel. I have a macro for it. So it casts instantly um, where your mouse cursor is. So um, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. So let's say my mouse cursor is right here in front of me. If I push Holy Word Sanctify, it goes right there. My mouse cursor is right in front of me. Angelic Feather, Angelic Feather. So that just takes one full click out of the rotation. Also, Mass Dispel is the exact same way. And um, and then I just mouse over macro everything else. So I'm not click. I'm clicked on an enemy right now. I got a mouse over macro for uh, dispels, renew, literally everything that I can do. Um, I want to take the clicks out of the rotation, um, ray of hope, all the things. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys healed up, get him stunned. Uh, but you'll notice I'm not clicking on anybody. I literally have every single ability just on mouse over macro, and then, like I was saying, the mass spell and other things. Um, I just do the. I'm not sure what. It, I think it's just an at cursor uh, spell cast. And it works really well. So. Um, and then, as far as uh, positioning and healing yourself and your teammates while on the move. I do a lot of jumping. So if I'm running away, I'll just uh, double click on my mouse buttons to make sure that I'm moving. And then I'll jump, look behind me, heal. Look behind me, heal. Um, which helps a lot. Um, sorry, I'm kind of getting distracted by actually healing in this battleground. But um, all right, so over here, this guy, mouse or er, cast at the cursor. And it's just instacast. It's super duper helpful. I'll put them in the description um, of the video, so that way you guys can see. Oh, hey, it looks like we have another holy priest. I start healing or er, drinking in a sec. So, all right. So mass dispel. Let's say I'm hovered over the holy priest. Click it, and it just automatically casts right there. It is super duper handy. Um, it has saved me a ton because it makes it so I don't have to do five clicks. It's just click on it and wherever your mouse is, you just got to get used to where your uh, mouse is positioned and it works pretty pretty decently. Um, as far as setting up my key bindings, I have a MMO mouse. So I do a lot of my stuff through that mouse. Um, basically, I have... Um, I'll show you here in just one sec once I save this person um, basically I do all my guys the exact same I have my crowd control abilities all saved to mou uh, mouse buttons on my thumb one through four so you'll see holy word chastise is mouse button one uh, uh, mind control is mouse button two uh, I've got Inner Focus and Light of Turu on uh, Inner Focus is Mouse 3, uh, Light of Turu is Mouse 4, uh, D Dispel Magic is Mouse 5, um, and that's that's how I set that up. And then all of my defensive things, like Get Me Out of Situations, Every Man for Himself, Gladiator's Medallion, Greater Fate, stuff like that, um, I have that mouse buttons uh, shift one through Four. So shift one is trinket, shift two is every man for himself, shift three is greater fade, shift four is angelic feather, shift five is holy ward, uh, shift six is ray of hope. And then I have my defensives. If I'm a healer, I always have it uh, mouse seven, eight, and nine. So I've got. Um, smite on sh uh, mouse 7, Holy Fire on mouse 8, and then um, Holy Nova on mouse 9. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. That I use um, <clears throat> for oh shit buttons, like 
Desperate Prayer, Guardian Spirit, Divine Hymn, stuff like that. Desperate Prayer, I have Shift Q, Divine Hymn, Shift W, Guardian Spirit, Shift E, and then Leap of Faith, Shift R. Um, and then Mass to Spell is Shift A. And then I always put my health stone on all my guys as shift S. And then trinkets and buffs are shift D and F and G. And then I normally use my mount as shift H. Just because I'm, I don't like to click things if I don't have to. So maybe completely different from what it is that you guys play. Um, my shift 1 through 4 I've got on shift 1. I've got sanctify. Shift 2 I've got prayer of healing. Shift 3, I've got Apotheosis, and Shift 4 is Prayer of Mending. And then as far as my four major heals, I've got um, one is Renew, two is Holy Word Serenity, three is Flash Heal, four is Greater Heal. That's it. That's that's all I do. And it works, so um, I'm just going to continue healing. At this point, I'm just going to do a, a walkthrough of what it is that I'm doing, just so we can finish up this battleground. Uh, I'm going to keep prayer bendings up on cooldown renew. Now I can actually focus. Um, again, I'm not mouse over, or I'm not uh, clicking on anybody. I'm going to start doing damage on, I think it's a priest, yeah. This priest, I'm going to start doing damage. Looks like they're a discipline. Um, looks like I jumped a little bit down in the healing meter from the explanation of what it is that I was doing. I'm um, going to dispel the hots off of that guy. Um, this mage has been giving us a lot of issues, so I'm going to start actually controlling him a little bit more. Get my prayer bendings up again. My renews up on everybody, and then I'm running out of mana, so I'm just going to uh, regular heal. Not flash heal, because regular heal is my go-to if I am struggling with um, mana efficiency. So it looks like I'm getting targeted. I'm going to inner focus and greater fade myself. Hopefully this guy can stay alive. He's got the flag. Yep, seems like it's working. Oh man, I'm running out of mana. All right, let's see if I can keep this mage up or this priest up still. No. You got like one shot. Once you get that many stacks on you from the orb, you're not going to be able to really do much. Alright, I'm going to get out of here so I can drink. Drink it up. Uh, since we're getting focused right now, I think I'm going to wait for maybe 40 to 50% mana. Yeah, they're getting focused too hard. I'm going to run back in. And then I'm going to stay close to the stairs, so that way if I need to, I can escape easily. I'm actually going to come up here. This guy's out of line of sight. Got that mage back up. Looks like they are taking control of mid. So I'm going to back off a little bit, see if I can get some more mana at this point, so when we group up, um, I can actually go in and be effective. Alright. Come on, get this guy back up. Use all my cooldowns, got him back up. Get my renews, get my prayer of mendings. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, is that mage? There's this mage that's giving me so many issues. I'm just gonna stun. Alright. There is a time when I will click actually. You'll notice if I'm about to get a heal off and a mouse over, it'll just sit there and it won't allow me to do anything. And so at that point, I actually will click on someone just to get the heal to activate, or you can push cancel. Um, if you would like. Alright, I'm getting focused again. I'm gonna get out of here for a sec. Up 
this rogue on me. This is something that you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and mind control this rogue off the ledge. So now he's out of here. He's not gonna focus me anymore. And now I'm gonna do divine him because I'm up above the fight and I'm getting all these people around. Get this holy priest back up. Out of range. Got sheeped. Mind control, right when you get uh, your heel kicked, just mind control. Because he would otherwise just be doing damage to me, now he can't. I haven't even been doing anything with the orbs. Um, I've just been basically focusing on explaining what it is that I've been doing. Um, this mage, this mage who loves me more than anything. Mind control him again. Mass a spell. Gonna stun him. Oh. He's actually doing some damage. I'm just gonna get myself back up with um, inner focus, greater fade. Got myself top back off. Gonna burn some other cooldowns now. Use my stone. Go ahead, see if I can get myself topped off again. Got Apotheosis running. Need to get a Guardian Spirit myself. Holy Word Sanctify, get that down. Alright, so this mage. Let me go ahead and stun him again. Prayer of Mending on cooldowns, renew. Now I'm just going to start healing, not flash heal, but healing because my, um, my mana is super low. So whenever my mana gets super low, I start using Light of True a lot more, using that as a crutch. I'm getting focused, so I'm going to come out of this stun, and I'm going to Greater Fade, Inner Focus, Prayer of Mendings, Holy Word Serenity. Sanctify and just get everything that I can, can uh, going so that way I um, can stay alive. So there you go. Um, with explaining all that stuff, I just did 2.5 million healing. The next guy down was a holy priest at 148 million and then 141. So, uh, over 50 million more damage or healing than the next guy down so that is the power of the holy priest but the only reason that was so successful is we had multiple healers if we didn't have at least three healers i think we would have died a lot quicker so um make some pre-mades get a get a couple healer buddies with you and um it helps a lot so hopefully um this helped uh, again i'm going to put the macros in the description below Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I really would like to know what you guys think. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and keep on playing Holy Priest, guys.